A E I O U. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to From the Depths. Today, I'm not really going to be building a tank or a plane or. Eh, well, it's kind of hard to explain, but. I'm not sure missile would be the right term. I think. Wait, let me let me find what I'm looking for first. There we go. I think deployable suicide craft would be more akin to what I'm really going after. It is going to be very, very small. Like, ridiculously small. Let's get a breadboard for this. Let's see. What else do I need? Maybe nothing else for the AI. Let's get some fuel. And let's get some... Uh, Let's, okay, let's get the custom jets, S the small ones. Uh, I'm not sure if these intakes are really going to do a whole lot. I mean, 100% honest, I don't think these intakes are going to really do anything. But they might. Oof. Yep, due to the placement of the block, the force output is scaled to 0%. Okay. Maybe we just get the... Hmm. Okay, small intake. This. 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 Okay, yeah. I think we might need to make a tiny, tiny, like, minute fuel engine for this. Which is not what I want to do, preferably. It'd be much better if I could just, like, stick something, you know, just stick a jet engine on it. But that's okay, let's get a jet engine. There we go. Maybe a little bit less power use. 3.5. Eight, uh, three point seven. Let's see. Yep, that's about where we can go. All right, let's see. R. So this is gonna be our vehicle then. Okay, let's get some. Wings, control surfaces. Okay, let's get some pitch control. And let's get some yaw control. Huh. We might have a problem with this, but we're gonna just try to. I guess we are gonna have our missile like this then. So, where do we go from here? Oh god, I honestly just don't like the look of the exhaust. Does the radar do any better? Certainly not. Okay. So, pitch up. Yeah, alright. Oh, we need something for a roll. Okay. I guess we'll have to do this. It'll do for now. Let's have the breadboard on top. So I guess we go to the breadboard now. So let's get primary target info. So... Here we have, is there a target? Yes. Alright, so where to go from here? Uh, probably a mass evaluator. Hmm. Okay, so uh, go into here. And let's see. If a which is our, if there is an enemy, if A is, 
equal to or greater than wait equal to or greater than no what's what are you doing equal to or greater than or is it the other way around okay I'm, I'm gonna try this first equal to or greater than zero or one hmm no, I do think it is the other way. Alright? Uh, you know what, we'll just find out, we'll find out, we'll find out. Uh, first, we just have to get things done. Alright, so... Let's get out of this menu. See what's in here. So this is our pusher preset. So... Where is the propulsion? There is the propulsion. So we go there, and this is for our forwards back. Forwards equals one. Okay, but let's save this vehicle. Override. So this is uh, this is hmm. Missile. A missile or deployable oh no I have I have a better I have a better one portable mass destruction one portable mass destruction one great name okay uh why is it doing that there is no enemy. There is no, no, no. Okay, so it is the other way. So now, as soon as we spawn in an enemy, can Cobra per se? Let's just turn it off. Yep, it's certainly going now. It's going speedy. And if we get rid of the King Cobra, it stops okay so we have this part figured out kind of more or less mm, target distance won't matter target altitude probably not either target bearing yes that is definitely going to matter so let's get another math evaluator there we go so we need to get another propulsion Propulsion. Huh? Uh, you need an input. Why can't I give you an input? What? Okay, we're gonna we're, we're gonna add another one. Propulsion. There we go. Okay, so bearing. A divided by 180 and this is for our yaw right yeah this is for our yaw this is for our yaw and let's see what this does for us so let's spawn the King Cobra again let's spawn it more like over here not nah, like we want this thing to be able to demonstrate it can turn Oh, okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, kind of like that, kind of like that. Uh-huh, uh yeah, yes, definitely. Okay, let's move you down over here. And we might need to get another... Is this even going to work? Okay, let's see. Alright, we might want to give this thing a PID that just keeps its pitch in control. So a PID, or a general purpose PID will do fine. Alright, no, let me get rid of that. General purpose PID. So, propulsion pitch, propulsion pitch. Okay, uh, clearly you might you might want to try a bit. Can we not? Can can we not do that?
Uh, so, um, that's that's odd. Very odd. Hmm. Propulsion pitch. Propulsion pitch. Zero. Is it is it even trying to? Come on. You God, what do you do? Why are you why are you why are you not working? Okay, um Okay, I guess we'll just put the ailerons back. Um, so, let's try, let's try an AI PID. That'll certainly go better, right? Right. Edit the pitch controls. That's not. Tango time. Lots of gain. Let's see. Okay, maybe we do need to give this thing just a lot more power. Well, a lot more pitching power. Nope, that does not seem to be helping. <sighs> okay. So, pitch control. Oh. Bonds with, uh, I don't know, I don't know what's happening. So we're, we're just gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna try to work this out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time over here. Cause really I'm gonna do a lot of fumbling around, so I'll just, I'll just cut you the details. Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, so it's been a pretty long time, for me at least. And I've, I think I've gotten the portable mass destruction one to a functional state, kind of, not really. I mean, look, look, I'll, I'll show you what I mean by not really. So, um, as you can see, it's, it's kind of wibbly, it's wobbly, can't really aim straight. But, but hey, hey, it's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Wow, this is very bad. Come on, you, you gonna you gonna destroy this guy? Boom. But you see, uh, it'll eventually hit the target it's going after. Eventually, so so that means that it's it's, pra it's practically fully functional. I mean, it's probably not up for military use in the campaign, but I mean. If you were targeting a bunch of civilian buildings, this would be a good... Uh... Okay, if you were targeting a bunch of civilian buildings that can't defend themselves, like houses... Well, this wouldn't be too bad of a weapon to use on them. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty good. It, it flies, it's pretty fast. It's scary because... Yeah, it's not the best weapon. It's not very good. It's not very good. That was a demonstration of not good. Let's spawn it further away. Like, here-ish. Uh, there we go. Don't crash into the ground. Okay, crashed into the ground. You need to spawn it a bit higher. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Uh, he likes to... Weave and dodge, bob up and down. He also likes to explode, on a other note. And once he gets on top of his target, he just starts doing this little dance. And then he might hit. He might hit. Eventually he'll crash into the ground. Maybe hurt the enemy in the process. Hurt their feelings. 
Well, as you can see, it's certainly potent. I mean, it is a nuke after all. And I think that's where I'm gonna call it quits. Hello, everybody. A uh, quick bit after the video. Uh, so I did some upgrading on it. On the missile, it's still still really bad. Then let me just find it. Ah, portable mass destruction one. But it's become a bit better. I don't know if it really is a bit better, but it's more stable now. So let's just find the King Cobra over there. And let's just watch the missile go. So it flies more stably now. But that's because it has kind of a set altitude. And instead of actually like homing in on the target, whenever it just gets close enough to it, it just drops. I think you'll see it soon enough. Yeah, you see how it's just dropping now? Alright, so you see it went over, well, it just turns around. And then it hits. So that's basically the new missile. Kind of the upgraded one. It's pretty bad. I mean, it can't hit anything that's like above 30 meters. So that's a really big downside. But I mean, at, th at this point, it now has it like a pretty good chance of hitting something. If it's low to the ground. If it's on a mountain, this thing will be useless. Like, literally useless. It will never get anything done. But, yeah, other than that, I think it's okay. And even then, there's still... There's still always gonna be a next lineup of tanks to get a better missile. Alright, so, with that said and done, hope you enjoyed... Hope you enjoyed this episode. The reason I say hope is because there's always hope. There's just no chance. Goodbye.